Welcome to the Aviator Assistant Training Series. In this video, we will be learning about the scratch pads. Let's start by locating the scratch pads. Navigate to the bottom bar. The fourth option from the left or third from the right on the bottom bar will be your scratch pads. Select this button to open the scratch pads view. To create a new scratch pad, press the new pad button located on the scratch pad view. This will always be located on the top left of the view. When you press the new pad button, you will be given the option to select from a blank document using the draw pad, or select from a preset of scratch pad templates that are designed to speed up the note taking process with common templates such as ATIS and Craft. To delete a scratch pad, press the delete pads button at the top left of the window. You will see a trash can icon appear on the top of every pad you have previously created. Press this icon and you will be prompted to confirm that you wish to delete the pad. Inside every scratch pad located on the top bar are your scratch pad tools. The pen icon will allow you to draw on the scratch pad. While the pen icon is selected, tap the pen icon again. This will pull up the pen settings. This will allow you to change the color and size of the pen. Click close or anywhere on the scratch pad to close the pen settings. Aviator Assistant supports the use of both Apple Pencil and Android Stylus. The eraser icon will allow you to quickly remove any drawings that you have added to the scratch pad. The undo icon will revert the last performed action. Each time you press the icon, it will continue to remove each step you have taken. History is reset when you exit the scratch pad. The redo icon will reapply the last undone action. The share button will allow you to use the built-in share functionality of your device, giving you the ability to share your scratch pad via your messaging service or simply save it to your photos. These options will vary depending on your device. Thank you for choosing Aviator Assistant. Please direct any questions or comments to support at aviatorassistant.com.